teach her that the cause. And in this video, we'll be talking about the method of gas collection. That is, after you have prepared a gas, how do you collect this gas? That's the method of gas collection. There are two factors that determine how a gas is collected. And take note of this. Number one is the density of the gas. That is, how heavy or how light the gas is. Number two are the solubility of the gas. That is whether the gas can dissolve in water or cannot dissolve in water. Density and solubility. Two factors that determine how a gas is collected. Number one, the density of the gas. If the gas is less dense than air, that is, if the gas is lighter than air, then you collect the gas by upward delivery of the gas or downward displacement of air. Now, what do you mean by upward delivery? Every gas jar that you want to use to collect the gas already has inside it air by default. So there's air inside the gas jar by default. So if you want to collect a gas into the gas jar, you are going to deliver the gas into the gas jar and display the, displace the air inside away. Imagine throwing a feather inside the water. What will happen to the feather? The feather will float on the water because the feather is lighter than the water. The feather is less dense than, so it's going to float. Which means you will deliver the feather on top of the water. Then the water will be displaced downward. Similar thing, if you throw stone inside the water, because stones are denser than water, the stone will sink inside the water. That means the stone will go and stay down. The stone will be delivered downward. Any water within the area where the water wants to stay will be displaced on top of the water. That is upward displacement of that water because the stone has been delivered downward. Similar illustration to how you collect a gas inside the gas jar that contains air. If the gas you want to collect is lighter than air, that means the gas will float on top of the air and the air will be pushed downward. That is downward displacement of air because the gas is already floating upward. The gas is already delivered upward. So take note of that. When the gas is less dense than air, the gas will float. That's upward delivery of the gas. And any air inside the gas jar before, in that area, will be pushed down. That's downward displacement of air. So upward delivery of a gas also means downward displacement of the air inside it. And you always have upward delivery that is floating of the gas when the gas is less dense or lighter than air. Examples of gases that are less dense than air are ammonia, hydrogen, and methane. Actually, the density of air is 14. That is, the molecular mass is 14. So, uh, molecular mass is 28. The density is 14. Molecular mass is half of is two times vapor density. So, any gas whose molecular mass is less than 28, such gases will be less dense than air. 
So take note of that. Like I'm holding that now. Molecular mass is 17. That's 14 plus 1. Nitrogen is 14 plus 3. That's 17. So it's lesser than 28. It's less dense than air. Hydrogen is actually 1 times 2. Molecular mass is 2. Less dense than air. Methane is 12 plus 4. Carbon is 12. Hydrogen is there. That's 16. So it's less dense than air. Any gas whose molecular mass is less than 28 will be less dense than air. So you collect such gases by upward delivery. They float on top of the gas. Uh, they float on top. That's upward delivery of the gas. Or downward displacement of air. The air will be pushed downward. That's downward displacement of air. So in chemistry, in the laboratory, you position the gas jar in an inverted format. So you, the gas jar will be turned upside down, like you are look, seeing in this picture. And the delivery tube will point up. So when the delivery tube points up like this, that's upward delivery. That the delivery tube is pointing up. Then gas jar is inverted. That's how to collect the gas by upward delivery. However, when the gas is denser than air, that is, the gas you want to collect, the molar the molecular mass is more than 28, is denser than air. That means the gas will sink, the air will float on top. So you call that downward delivery of the gas because the gas is being delivered down, is sinking down. That's downward delivery of the gas or upward displacement of air. The air that's already there before, we go up, we float away, we float up. Whereas the gas you are collecting now because it's denser, the gas will float, uh, the gas will sink down into the gas jar. So you call that downward delivery. So in downward delivery, your delivery tool is pointing downward. As you can see in this diagram, the delivery tube is pointing downward. That's downward delivery. And the invert and the gas jar is sitting straight. It's not inverted now, it's sitting upright. Whereas the delivery tube is pointing down into the gas jar. That's downward delivery. So upward delivery, delivery tube points up. Downward delivery, delivery tube points down. Examples of gases that are denser than air are chlorine. Chlorine is 35.5 times 2 because it's diatomic. 71. 71 is way higher than 28 so it's denser than air hydrogen chloride gas hcl is 1 plus 35.5 that's 36.5 that means it's denser than air it's more than 28 carbon four oxide is carbon is 12 oxygen is 16 times 2 that's 32 that's 44 44 is more than 28 that's denser than air, downward delivery of the gas. SO2 is 32 plus 16 plus 16. That will be 64, denser than air. h 2 also is denser than air. So you collect all these gases by downward delivery because they are denser than air. And this is how you draw a setup to collect a gas that is denser than air. Delivery to point down. What if the gas has an approximate density like air? That is, if the, if the density of the gas is closer to that of air, if that is the case, you will not be able to collect that gas by displacement of air. An example of gases or example of gas that you don't collect by that method. It's nitrogen. Nitrogen itself is 
14 times 2, that's 28. So the vapor dense, the molecular mass is exactly 28. So it's not denser than air, it's not less dense. So you will not be able to collect that kind of gas by displacement of air. Similar thing, oxygen. Oxygen also has approximate density like air. The density is uh, the density is uh, 16 and 16 is closer to 14 that is the molecular mass is 16 plus 16 that's 32 so it's closer to 28 which is the density of air so you don't collect nitrogen and oxygen by displacement of air so if you have if you have asked that you should explain why you don't collect nitrogen and oxygen by displacement of air. You would say that because they have approximate density like that of air. So that's why you don't collect them by displacement of air. Number two factor is the solubility in water. Generally, when the gas is insoluble in water, you can collect the gas over water. And this is the method you use to collect the gas over water. Your gas jar, your beehive shelf. Beehive shelf is used to support the gas jar. Then your water trough. This water trough. That's water trough. That's water trough. So you collect your delivery tube that contains the gas. Through the, through the beehive shelf and then as the gas is coming into the gas jar the water in the gas jar will be reducing and be entering into the water trough so when all the water in the gas jar has come out then that means the gas that's already filled up with that gas so that's how you know when the gas jar is filled up all the water inside the gas jar will be displaced by that gas so that's how you collect the gas over water and it's because the gas itself is insoluble in water but when the gas is soluble in water you don't collect that sort, that kind of gas over water because the gas will dissolve in the water and will not be able to displace the water an example of gas like that is ammonia. Ammonia and hydrogen chloride gas can never be collected over water because they are highly soluble in water. So the summary of all we have said today in this video is that when a gas is denser than air, you use downward delivery. Downward delivery where the delivery tube is pointing down. When the gas is less dense than air, you use upward delivery. Upward delivery. When the gas is insoluble in water, you collect the gas over water. So this will be the end of the video on how to collect a gas using their solubility in water. As solubility in water and their density in air. Thank you.